about a year, huh, for Mississauga's Bianca Andreescu. 2019 saw her beat Serena Williams at the U.S. Open. She was given the Lou Marsh Trophy as the top athlete in the country and was named Tennis Canada's Female Player of the Year. Joining me now live from Vancouver to talk about this, one of the top stories of the year, is Tennis Canada CEO Michael Downey. Michael, thanks for being here. Glad to be here. So, you know, was this kind of a eureka, aha moment, or was it more of a slow burn that took this young woman from relative obscurity in a year, from, you know, the 150s to number four, and a majors champ? Well, it was a major story, but, but quite frankly, she ended 2018 very strong, winning a bunch of challengers, and she had a great off-season. She had worked on a back issue, so we knew she was uh, competing down under in New Zealand and then Australia quite healthy, and that's where it all started. You know, she basically mm -hmm. got to the final in New Zealand, got to, I think, the third round in Australia, even though she was exhausted, and it just took off from there. Now, Michael, you know, her maturity, her, her IQ, her, her EQ, her composure and her potential are frankly off the charts, right? I mean, barring any further injury, and she's been kind of injury prone, what's her ceiling? Well, I don't think she has a ceiling. I, I, think, I think she is more than capable of being the top player in the world, especially, especially given that she's only 19 years of age and the average age for a top 100 player is closer to 30. So her best years are in front of her. And I think you're right. It's going to be about looking after her body because she pounds it pretty hard when she's playing tennis. But uh, there's no doubt that Bianca is more than capable of being number one in the world, and she wants to get there herself. You know, 19 is not super young uh, or anomalous to be on the circuit, but there's something about her, huh? She seems wise beyond her years. Serena Williams, I think back to that Rogers Cup final where she had to retire, uh, and Bianca won, calling her an old soul. That sounds about right. Absolutely. Like, she is beyond her years. You know, when I, uh, I've got to know her fairly well, I know her parents fairly well, and she's so mature for her age, and that what she has had to take on this year with this success is just unbelievable, and mm -hmm. she's managed it so well, and she doesn't surprise anymore. Like, you know, she's, she plays and acts like she's 24 or 25 years of age, like she's been on the circuit for five or six or seven years, and that's why it's amazing that she's got to, what, five in the world. She ended the year five in the world, right. got as high as four, and she just turned 19 in June of this, this year. It's incredible. Michael, we'll get you out of here on this. The men, Chapo, Ajay Ali Asim, uh, Pospisil, Davis Cup finalists against France. I mean, Tennis Canada is doing just all right. Yeah, you know, I read an article the other day that said it was a monster year for <laughs> Canadian tennis, and it really, really was. Uh, you know, I have friends around the world that are in tennis, and they've written me on numerous occasions and said, what's in the water in Canada <laughs> that we're doing so well? And I think a lot of it has to do with a pack mentality of these young kids. You know, Dennis is 20, Felix is 19, Bianca is 19, and they feed off each other. And I like to say when I look back at 2019 that Bianca won the first quarter by her, her, her results in winning Indian Wells. Felix won the second quarter because he did so well on clay and so well on grass, making, I think, three finals. Bianca obviously won the third quarter because she won the Rogers Cup and she won the U.S. Open. Right. And then Dennis won the fourth quarter because he finished the year 15 in the world, beat a lot of top 10 players and led the Davis Cup team. And the key is I think this is what Canadian tennis is going to look like for the quite a few years in the future, that these kids are just going to be politely competing with each yep. other for stardom. They're think, already there. It's going to be great for I, fans of tennis in this country. I think you're right. It's four full quarters, and I think it's a Disney movie waiting to happen. Uh, Michael, thank you Absolutely. very much for your time. Enjoy your day.